ten. Looking to pass first play is Prescott. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. No receivers open downfield, so instead of forcing the ball to the sideline, he's going to throw this one down to Fort Worth. He'd rather have the incompletion than the turnover. Here's second and ten. Ooh, Prescott, he's going to change things up here. Escaping the pressure right. Come on, Bo. Damn. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Right fucking there. Ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Going on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try to mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. And again, it's Prescott. Good. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. You know, you're out of this here. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Throwing, Prescott. His throw incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. They run it for the first time with Tony Powell. And he is in to the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. Tony Powell taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cowboys will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that makes the score seven nothing. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25.
They'll try and start this drive in the air. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Next drive by the Cowboys offense. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. They'll run with Pollard. Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on. Go on. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. He's settling in nicely here in the first quarter running the football. Remember, he already has the touchdown run. And you can feel the vibe, can't you? He's in unison with his offensive front. They are in concert together. So if you're flipping over to the other side of the scrimmage, they've got to be more physical and handle some of these gaps that have been created. Lamb in motion left. First down, and it's Pollard again. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. We've caught a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes him faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. Play action now. Prescott. Flushed out right. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he'll end up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A game there of 21 yards. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. From the red zone now, Prescott. Down inside the 10. He's down inside the 5 at the 4 before he's out of bounds. 15 more there, and there are a It's another first down. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Cowboys are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. 
this feels like something we see more commonly, CD, in a college game. They give it to the receiver down here in the red zone, but it winds up successful. Yeah, partner, I think you think it's less likely to find running space to the edge down here close to the end zone when things are so condensed. But a lot of times you end up focusing on the running backs, and it to the receiver, and it resulted in a touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception. Get up the score. You're down double digits. They got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. Throwing his hurts. Oh, he'll get that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Well, certainly it appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from it. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Goal. 
Well, now they'll try the end around. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's fucking end around there, shit. Someone's at your back door. That's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that makes the score 21 to zip. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it will come out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. On first and ten, it's Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Dallas Goddard, of course, he'll do well in this stadium. He's got a first down. Hurts sets up to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Watkins. Calling a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. A six-yard pickup. Brings up second and four at the Cowboys' 37-yard line. They'll look to throw again. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game. Oh my goodness, come on. And taken down to the ground. The tank, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes and they're getting at them. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. As he throws, he no, he just can't be stopped, man. I just don't get it. Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on stage. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So, to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. 
on any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Here now, third and a yard. Prescott. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. It's Nicobe Dean with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. At their own 40-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. Looking to change the play. Hey, easy. 63, 63, back. Like a hornet. That was mine. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And it's out to the flat for Swift. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. A gain of five brings up second and five. Now they'll change things up. Here's Hurts to throw. Throw the fucking ball. It's a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Nothing open downfield and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. It became an all-arm throw, trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Oh my goodness, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start I don't know why I can't get past this shit, man. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball in his hands a lot quicker. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The offense stays put. They failed twice already in this first half, but they're going to go a third time here on fourth down. Try and throw for it here. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. For a real head scratcher there. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run straight ahead here with Palmer. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. 
Looking to throw. Prescott. I don't know if it's a ride to fuck open. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. Ride to fuck open. They would have time on the rise and they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. Oh, everything falling apart now. And intercepted. Picked up by the Lakers. Oh, my goodness. I'm down. Great shape okay. here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. Okay. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. And this will be caught at the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice game. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now back to throw. 
Oh my goodness, you haven't read it through this motherfucker or what? Sacked back at the 31. Uh. Marcus Lawrence able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 18. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On first down, Hurts. Touchdown! Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles are able to cut into that deficit. So that, Charles, their first score of the ball game, obviously, coming here in the third quarter. Is that going to be enough to energize the troops? It's a great question, and we'll wait to see the answer, but it's finally something for them to build on. Now they know that they can actually score against that defense. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 28-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. And you can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime and sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. On second down, it's Pollard, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they do. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Prescott to throw it. Throw it side complete. That's Ferguson. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 33. A good pick up there. 22. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, they have to start digging in for second half blowout material. Here's Prescott. Nobody even over there. What? Jake Ferguson from 21 yards away. 
Why the fuck is nobody over there? So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select, you want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play, they're rocking and rolling right now. Aubrey good with a PAT, and that'll increase their lead to 28. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it will come out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason. Oh my goodness, this dude! it's been unusual. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. They'll set up a throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blow. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Oh, my goodness. Now they go for it on third down, but the pass is knocked away and incomplete. Play fake, Prescott, eluding the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Now a give here to Pollard. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Third and five. Throwing, Prescott. And a the open man, that's complete. The Cowboys are gonna have four 
first and goal as they try to finish off his time with six points. They're looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Now here's Pollard, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Brandon, at some point, these defenders absolutely have to say, we've just got to make a stand. We've had enough of this. Giving up a lot of points in this game, but look better on that play. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. Pollard again. And not a whole lot there as they'll get him down at about the two. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists. And if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. They'll try to run with Pollard. No gain on the play and what to do now on fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. And I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. Here's Prescott. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They throw for it on fourth and goal at the one. And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. And Hurts is intercepted. His third of the game. Oh my goodness. You get the sense that they were banking on the element of surprise, right? Everyone expects you to run it there. Let's take a shot, let's throw it, try and create some space, some room, and it went awry, didn't it? Following the interception, here's Prescott. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. Pollard will take it up the gun. And give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because... He actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw it here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even send in a running play here, I don't believe. I think they go ahead and try and throw it for a touchdown. Prescott on third and goal. Oh, my goodness. They give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. Aubrey now for the PAT. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead.
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you. Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Elliott good with a PAT. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here. But let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. Understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker ex- well, What a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. A big play there for Philly. 47 yards. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. 47 yards. First down, Eagles. 63, 63, 63. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Oh my God! You, you gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Parker hoping to hold a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And this one was over a while ago as they just ran onto that big lead. <laughs> uh. 
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Looks like they're going to keep throwing to the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. One final shot. They'll look to throw. One last shot at the end zone. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. 